Round, round, get around. I get around. Yeah, get around, round, round. I get around. It's pretty scary being underwater. Scary. Scary? Have you met the other piranhas? Always s snapping at you. Also, the motion makes me a little sick. I'm not kidding. The motion? Someone that maybe travels a lot. I dream of getting away. With plenty of fish in the sea, I'd rather be elsewhere. Scotland, Wales. Somewhere with more... Stability. Brazilian Portuguese dictionary sketchbook, Portuguese. A nature presenter. It's no laughing matter. It's so much safer out here. Comedian, clowns. Or at least I thought it was. This place is just petrifying. He seems very shy. Very scared. Not to mention, I'm terrified what you'll think. When you get to look at my singing. Oh, that's seagulls looking at me funny. <laughs> there were nights when the wind was so cold. What? Wow. My body froze in bed if I just listened to it right outside the window. I was blown away. That was amazing. That was amazing. I mean, I did not expect that voice to be coming out of Piranha in pyjamas. Um, <laughs> but, I mean, it struck me that that was... It sounded like an American accent. Did you hear they didn't say seagull? They said seagull. So maybe it's something <laughs> called seagull. <laughs> there is the famous action star, Steven Seagull. <laughs> All I know is, I, I hope you stick around the competition because we'd all love to hear you sing some more. Wow. And, uh, I, but I've got no idea. Rita, what do you think? I'm speechless. It's one of the best vocalists I think we have on this whole show right yeah. now. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Just based off the vocal, it sounded a bit like Jamie Cullen to me. Yeah. Yeah. Davina McCall. I mean, just to show you how far off I was, <laughs> my initial guess was Yvette Fielding. Wow. <laughs> wow. But when I listened to it, I think he said, water. 
they might be American. Instead of water, they say. Yes, so what? I think it might be somebody American. It could be Jordan Knight from New Kids on the Block. That's what I'm going with. No. Oh, my gosh. This isn't your first time. You're definitely not a fish out of water. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's interesting you said the American accent because it could be someone who feels like they're British but they spend a lot of time in America. Oh. I'm an Englishman in New York. Piranhas, they bite you. It might sting. It could be sting. OK. <laughs> so, you want to clear? Yeah. OK, I think you need some help. Let's squeeze in one last riddle. Piranha, take it away, my friend. Piranhas are hungry. Piranhas do bite. But I'd rather munch popcorn on this special night. Special night. Oscars. Yeah. yeah. Maybe they missed an award ceremony. Yeah, maybe they didn't go to the Oscars because they, they were too busy eating people. <laughs> <laughs> OK, who's the star inside Piranha? We'll only know when the mask comes off. Let's hear it for Piranha, everybody. <laughs> The panel did a lot of fishing for clues, but was their sting operation a success? Who do you think's behind the mask? Some good guesses from the panel tonight, but they need to cast their nets wider to catch me. That performance last week was everything I could have dreamed of. A bit like Jamie Cullum to me. The Jordan Knight. It could be Sting, the famous action star Steven Seagal. <laughs> it shows that practicing my scales has really paid off. I was a little nervous out there, larking about on stage, but then again, everything makes me a little nervous. It's a nervous this thing, or are they the opposite? I'm not ready to be taken home. Who wants to be stuck in the Amazon? Or thousands of leagues under the sea? <laughs> oh, hand soap. Could be a soap star. Oh, yeah? People think piranhas are scary. But I'm the only one that's frightened of my own sh sh shadow. Millennium, someone that was quite iconic in the early part of the millennium. It must be a world record. The others, ha-ha, at this piranha. Cones, pines, Scots pine. I've got to get myself into gear and show I'm a different kettle of fish. <coughs> Whoa! What was that?
Uh, Mo, what are you thinking, my friend? Oh, that was really good, man. When I seen the VT package, did you guys see the hand soap? Yes. So I thought I'd go with the soap star route, someone that might have been musical, singing. Something fishy is going on, because this person... Um, <laughs> thank you, guys, I'm here all day. <laughs> No, I think this person is in a band now. They're a soap star in Coronation Street. Possibly could be Keith Duffy. Isn't he a lovely young fella, Puana, ladies and gentlemen? We've all fallen a bit in love with Puana, I think. I think you're a younger performer than I thought previously, because you're moving around a lot more. So I'm thinking, could it be someone from one of the big bands of the 90s or the noughties? Someone like Gaz Coombs from Supergrass? Davida. I have gone American. Oh. I think they were faking the British accent. And this, like, nervous thing is very cute, let me tell you. But I think you are extremely confident. I'd go as far as to say this person that I've guessed um, is like an OG bad boy. So maybe this is a cover. He's an actor, singer, dancer. dancer in a, was in a boy band back in the day. I think it's Donny Wahlberg. Ooh. Ooh. Excellent work. Jennifer. I thought those pine cones, you know, in the bucket. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I thought, P why pine? Pine, mm. Scots pine. Yes. I wondered if they were Scottish. Oh. This was before I'd heard the singing, which was wonderful, by the way. So I was thinking Scottish, could it be Nicola Sturgeon? Um, <laughs> no, no, it's, it's fishy, you see. Uh, and then I thought, maybe it's Marty Pello, wet, 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 you see? Oh. Yes, I love the way you're yes. going with this. Before you saw the clues, when he first came out, you thought he was someone else. You said he looked like someone you work with. <laughs> Who did you say? I didn't say anybody. Who did you say? I didn't say anybody <laughs> at all. You didn't say Alan Carr? I didn't say <laughs> Alan Carr. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want another clue? Yes. OK. At our tuck shop, there are more rumours than packets of pickled onion monster munch. So Piranha is going to give you two... Rumours. You just have to figure out which one's clue and which one's false. Parada, let's hear rumour number one, please. This is now the second time I've fallen out with the jocks. Rumour number two, please. I've gone to the nurse's office again. It's like 2005 all over. Ooh. Which clue do you think is true? Number one? <laughs> Shout if you think number two is true. Oh. Well, you are absolutely no help whatsoever. <laughs> You're all just saying yes to absolutely yeah. every question. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it! Well, jocks is like an Americanism, mm. isn't it? For yeah. the kind of sporty guys. You or worried. Scottish people. Scottish yes, people. Yes, people. yes, true. Yes. Maybe it is Nicola Sturgeon yes. after all. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Have the panel taken the bait? We'll only know when the mask comes off. Give it up for Piranha, Yay! everybody. <laughs> The panel went on a fishing expedition with their guesses, but did they catch Piranha's real identity? Who do you think's behind the mask? Davina thinks I could be a new kid on the block. Step by step, are the panel getting closer to working out who I am? Fisher, is this a dream? That is what you are. Is this a fantasy? I think it's Donny Wahlberg. Guys, Coombs. It could be Keith Duffy. I don't want to get caught just yet. Oh! It doesn't take much to get my knees knocking. Shaking all over. Maybe someone has a dancer. And my body rocking. But this is fantastic. Fake posh accent. Quivers down the backbone. Standing up in front of the dads and mums, daughters and the rest. I'm not letting stage fright freeze me in place. Ah, stage fright. It might have someone that had been on the West End. Wah! A piranha's usually less barker, more biter. Oh, it's a magpie. Ah, it might be someone from Newcastle. But I'm such a nervous fish. I should see a doctor to master my fears. Doctor to master my fears, like Doctor Who? There's still a fair way to go. My goal is to just keep swimming. Please give me your love tonight. 
Was another seagull? Me no likey. Oh. Me no likey? I'm so confused. Whoever it is has certainly been doing their scales. Am I right, guys? Yeah. <laughs> Rita, how good was that? That voice is insane. The notes that you were hitting, it was pitch perfect. It was perfection. Perfection. You have such a clean tone. So I felt like you were someone along the lines of Jamie Cullum, who's just an incredible vocalist and just so talented as a musician. Jonathan, we've been getting all sorts of names. I'm just looking at the clues tonight. There was, I think they said Quinn instead of Finn at some stage. And of course there was from X Factor. He came second to the list, Ray Quinn. Who has an amazing voice. You're a great Quinn. Uh, Ellie, who do you think it is? I don't know. I had a little bit of Danny from McFly in there. Yeah. Does anyone else think it? Just Rita. Okay, I just Rita. Agree mm -hmm. with okay. That. Yeah. I love that. That's a great Shout, thank you, Ellie. Davida? I mean, I was looking at the clues. Les Barker, <laughs> more happening? biter. Yeah. And Les Barker, he replaced Sue Barker yeah. on um, Question of Sport. Yeah. Ah. And Michael Bolton, who's from Bolton. Bolton! Paddy McGuinness. This is good stuff from Davida McCall. Paddy McGuinness. Mo Gilligan. You know who I, who I think you are? From High School Musical, someone who can obviously act, but when they was on the show, they were singing, um, I think it could be Zac Efron. Ooh. Wow. Mm. That would be a creep. We'll only see who's jammed inside the gym jams when the mask comes off. Give it up for Piranha, everyone. <laughs> How are the panel supposed to work out who Piranha is? Maybe you have an idea of who's behind the mask. Jonathan thinks I might have the X Factor. Am I about to... Rain on his parade. <laughs> Some strong guesses. Zach Efron. Way Quinn. Jamie Collum. Paddy McGillis. But I don't think they're on my tail just yet. <laughs> Some might say I'm so fish -ticky. Fancy? Me? In these PJs? 
This is a fashionable person. It yes. might be a model. Yeah. I hope I've shown some talent. No reality check needed. Compliments, girl, on your case. I am willing to do a lot to make sure this panel don't guess me. There's a lot of those kissing clues, actually. Things can be tough when you're a panicky piranha. I wish you Someone that was in Dancing with the Stars. There's somebody who's in a double act. <gasps> you might notice a theme. I'm still a Brit nervous. Brit, Brit Award winner. You could be a Brit who lives aboard. But I'm not about to bolt, although biting my tongue is leaving it a little sore. What do you think, my friend? Oh, that was a sensational performance. The clues in the BT package were some kissing. In season two of Glee, there was an episode which was named Never Been Kissed. I think it could be Darren Chris. Darren Chris. Yes. Wow, that's amazing. OK, what are you thinking, then, Davina? 3,000 Kisses, Be My Valentine. This person did a 2017 Valentine special, and then I heard Bolt. I thought it might be Michael Bolton. <laughs> Michael Bolton in there. Lenny. Great voice, great song, by the way. There were lots of clues in that video, you know. And then there was a thing that said PJ, and I thought, is it somebody that was in PJ and Duncan? Could Ant be in there? Could Deck be singing on his shoulders? <laughs> uh, Rita, who are you thinking? OK, so if we go back to the VTs, I remember you saying, oh, it feels like we're back in the 20-somethings. The person who I guessed originally had an album called 20-something, and I think you're Jamie Cullen. Ooh. <laughs> Jonathan, what do you think? Who I think it is, from earlier clues, there was a Wanted poster in one of the other packages, oh, yeah. and it just works with the voice. Max. I think, from the Wanted, I think it's Max George. That's yeah. a good Max idea. George. Do you want another clue? Yes. Yes. Davina, will you do the wonderful honours, please? Can it be a good clue, please? Pull that lever. <laughs> OK, panel, what do you see? Stein's 
Stein Hall. Stein Hall. Royal Albert Hall. Royal Albert Hall. Royal Albert Hall. Royal Albert Hall. It's Michael Bolton. It's Michael Bolton's on the Saturday play the Royal Albert Hall. OK, can you handle the tooth? You'll only know when the mask comes off. Give it up for Piranha, everyone. Have the panel reeled in this piranha, or have they bitten off more than they can chew? Who do you think's behind the mask? Everybody's talking about Jamie Collum. Is that the piano key to success? It's the semi-finals, and I can't believe I'm here. Darren Chris. Or Jamie Cullum. I think it's Max George. I thought it might be Michael Bolton. <laughs> I don't want to leave, because I'm making big waves in the pond. <laughs> Ready to write myself off. The fake English accent. And I've been dreaming day and night about my next performance. I really hope it has the desired effect. I am really excited, plus a little oh, nervous if it goes badly. But I'm not going to very potter about. Harry Potter. They're not going to potter about. Once more, around the block. Daylo. Daylo. Jenny from the block. Might have to call Mum. Is trying to work out who I am driving you round the river bend? You are, you are allergic to fear. <laughs> <laughs> it's driving me up the wall. The Harry Potter thing, is that something to do with the name? You know, Daniel Radcliffe. It got me thinking Daniels, and then I thought, could it be Daniel Beddingfield? <laughs> it sounds a bit like Beddingfield. Him. I was just thinking there was one other name that I thought it sounded like. Ooh. I was thinking about 
Danny Jones as well. Mm -hmm. I, I heard a bit of that in there, but I really stuck on whether you're an American. You were talking about once more around the block, and I thought, new kids on the block. So I'm going to go Donnie Wahlberg. OK. Bo <laughs> Gilligan. I've always been saying this for a couple of weeks, Joe. This is someone that's been in maybe like a high school musical, maybe Glee. They had the lead role in an episode where he played Harry Potter in oh, Glee. Wow. Oh, wow. I think it could be Darren Chris from Glee in there. Yeah. Darren Chris. <laughs> Lorraine. This is very difficult. I went down the Harry Potter road. There was a vampire bat in there, and then I still thought to on the lines of Harry Potter, it might be Robert Pattinson, because he can do anything. Oh, that's well. what I'm going to go for. Jonathan, a few weeks ago, there was a clue about Las Vegas. We saw some flowers in the background. This is someone I know who uh, was born in Las Vegas, is in a band in Las Vegas, and you said in tonight's clue package, desired effect. This was the lead single of this band's solo album. And to further cap it off, what would you call piranhas? Fish. Killers. No, killers. No, killers. Oh, From yeah. From the killers. I think it's Brandon Flower. Whoa. Oh. Oh. That's what I think it is. Well, we'll only shine a lighter on the biter when the mask comes off. Give it up for Piranha, everyone! I can't live without knowing who Piranha is. Who do you think's behind the mask? It's the semi-final. Have the panel put this case to bedding for you? They put the eat in hard to beat. It's Piranha! If I told you this was only gonna hurt If I warned you that the fire's gonna burn Would you walk here? Would you let me do it first? Do it all in the name of love So good Would you let me lead you even when you're blind In the darkness, in the middle of the night Would you call me when you know I'm by your side Do it all in the name of love Another clue? Yes. Okay, let's introduce some juice. Ooh. The truth juice shall set you free, Piranha. Here it comes. <laughs> this is so funny. Okay, what's the truth clue? Here we go. <laughs> I've performed at Glastonbury. Oh. oh. It's. Says he's performed at Glastonbury. It sounds like he's got indigestion. <laughs> Do you know how many people have I know, performed? I know. At Glastonbury. I feel like you might have popped out once at Glastonbury. I did pop out once at Glastonbury and I apologised for that. 
Do you know who? Do you know? Do you know who performed at Glastonbury and who would be in his pajamas at this time of night? Who? Elton John. Oh. Oh. <laughs> to be fair, there's enough space for some big spectacles in yes. there. Yes. <laughs> that could really help. And the Killers have performed at Glastonbury as well, so it could be Brandon. The killers have performed at I might throw a new name in there. Yes. Tom Grennan. Oh, oh. that is that right. really has his tone of yes. voice, actually. Actually, I think you, I think you yes. have right. Yes. I'm with you yes. on that you one. You probably Peter. had him on your yes. show. Yes, yes, yes. Can I throw another name in? He's a friend of mine. He's got a lovely voice. You, you won't know him. He's a plumber, but his name is Tony. <laughs> Tony the plumber. <laughs> oh, my lot. <laughs> Who's been lying through their teeth? Well, let me know when the mask comes off. Give it up for Piranha, everyone. went fishing for the truth, but it's left them even more confused. What in my fishy's dreams? Did I see myself in the final? Have the panel guessed me right? Could it be Daniel Beddingfield? Darren Chris from Glee. Donnie Wahlberg. I think it's Brandon Flowers. There must be something in the water, because I'm totally in sync with my emotions. In sync. In sync. I've been chasing status in this competition. I've been going it alone, which is a little ooh, scary. It's someone in a boy band. Because piranhas like to swim with fishy friends. A band of brothers. Ooh, Donnie Wahlberg was in Band of Brothers. I don't want to rock DJ. In the lakes and rivers. We're real head turners. Head turners. Oh, there's so much in this. Rock and roll. But on dry land, ah, scary piranhas weren't born to run. Born to run? Well, it's got to be Bruce Springsteen. It's Bruce Springsteen. Even though we can kick it on the pitch, tonight is the night. Time for the performance of my life. Yes, I do. I believe. So one day I will be where I was, right there, right next to you. And it's hard, the days just seem so dark. The moon and the stars and nothing without you. Told me not to cry when you were gone. Oh, it's so good. But the feeling's overwhelming. It's much too strong.
Unbelievable. Jonathan. I think that was the best performance, not just of this series, but of any series oh, of the yes. Masked Singer so far. That was extraordinarily good. Wow. I've been trying to make the voice fit, and it's so tricky. I was thinking there were notes in that sound a bit like George Ezra. For now, I'm going to guess George Ezra. George Ezra, good George show. Ezra. Rob Brider, what did you think? He talked about chasing status. There is the production team of Chase and Status yes. who have worked with Tom... Grenner. Going Tom Grenner. Okay, it's a great guess. guess. It is Tom. Rita. Hell of a voice. Rita. All the clues are leading me to Tom as well. You know, the, the kick it thing makes me think Soccer Aid, which I know that he did train as a footballer. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I will go with Tom Grennan. Davina. I heard tonight head turners. And I thought, is head turners, you know, something to do with the voice? And then I'd said Danny Jones before, and I thought, is it, is it Danny Jones? But I still think Donnie Wahlberg has done the voice USA, and he was in Band of Brothers. I think I'm going to stick with Donnie Wahlberg. Mo, what are you thinking? There was a little clue of sync, but I don't think that's the band. I think the show Glee, they're in a bit of a Glee club. You have to be in sync with each other. And I think it's Darren Chris from Glee. I'm going with Darren Ooh. Chris. Ready for some more sleepy masky time? Yeah! For one last time, lend your little ears to David Tennant. Once upon a time, there lived a piranha. He was unlike any other piranha. He was scared of everything. The other piranhas were big and fierce, but piranha knew he had a secret weapon, his incredible cooking skills. So with trembling fins, Piranha took a deep breath and began to cook, chopping and stirring and sizzling all day long. When the scary Piranhas tasted his fishy feast, their eyes widened in amazement, their smiles teethy. From that day forward, Piranha's cooking skills and bravery were celebrated. He wasn't scared of the other fish anymore. He really was the fish of the day. The end. Has that helped anyone? Yes. <laughs> Donnie Wahlberg's done? family have got a chain of um, burger restaurants in America called Wahlburgers. Yes. Oh, Big yeah. clue for that. Stay tuned to find out. <laughs> Give it up for Piranha, everyone! <laughs> the panel have spent eight weeks trying to catch this slippery fish on a scale of one to ten. How close do you think they've got? Who do you think's behind the mask? The panel think they've caught me. I'll just grin and bear it for now. Oh, Piranha, you'll be performing with a dear friend of ours. Please welcome to the stage, Fawn! Yeah! Fawn was great. I love Fawn. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> no matter how hard I try, Keep pushing me aside and I can't break through oh. There's no talking to you It's so sad that you're leaving it Takes time to believe it But after all is said and done You're gonna be the lonely one, no
so good. That was epic. Oh my God. <laughs> Piranha at Ford, everybody. That was incredible. But first of all, let's make sure it's Natalie Appleton under there. Everyone, take it off. Take it off. Take it off. Take it off. There she is. It's Natalie Appleton. Wow. Honestly, that was genuinely, I think, my favorite performance I've seen in all of the series of Marseille. I really enjoyed that. Goosebumps. Davina was crying. Any idea at all who it is? Someone very good. New kids on the block. New kids Donny? On the block. Donny? Donny Wahlberg. What? That's what I guessed. Maybe, yes. Thank you so much. The wonderful Natalie Appleton. Yay! Give it up for Parada, everyone. I had such a great time performing with Fawn tonight, and the panel still have no idea who I could be. Oh. Shocking! I was going to give you the hair dryer treatment, then I realised you haven't got any hair! If you're going to win this final, you've got to have a bit of ball! Is Bottle one of the other characters? <laughs> Listen, Gather, I've been trying my best. My riddle ran rings around the panel. Check out the instant replay. Piranhas are hungry. Piranhas do bite. But I'd rather munch popcorn on this special night. Maybe they didn't go to the Oscars because they, they were too busy eating people. <laughs> OK, they've brought on a last-minute substitution and I thought it was all over. Cones, pines, Scots pine. We came close to kissing the championship goodbye, but they completely missed this. Give me another chance, Gather. I promise to be trout standing. Right, get back out of there. You're a fish. Fight your instincts of finding the back of the net and bring this home. Come on! There were nights when the wind was so cold. Oh, this one. Yes! My body froze in bed if I just listened to it right outside the window. Wow. I finished crying in the instant that you left. And I can't remember how well I Oh, he's got a good voice. And I'm back. Touch me like this And you hold me like that I just have to admit That it's all coming back to me When I touch you like this And if I kiss you like that It was gone with the wind But it's all coming back to me It's all coming There is just nothing I can say that will amount to how amazing Piranha is. Yeah. As singing fishes go, <laughs> it doesn't get better than that. Oh. Yeah.
does kind of hone in on my guess. You did have the kissing booth, which reminds me, Tom Grennan had a song called Psychedelic Kisses. Oh, oh yes. yes. Yes, yes, yes. Will Piranha be crowned chomp, chomp, champion? <laughs> There's not long until we find out. Give it up for Piranha, everyone. <laughs> Great stuff. You've got to be squidding me. This Piranha is in the top two. If you want to guess who I could be, make it snappy, as you'll be finding out very soon. I can reveal that the winner of the Masked Singer 2024 is... Congratulations. You will be removing your mask very, very shortly. Give it up for Piranha, everyone. Please welcome back to the stage your mask singer winner. It's Piranha! Piranha is our champion and it is finally time to reveal their identity. But first, of course, panel, for the last time, who do you think it is? I actually think you might be Connor Maynard. Whoa, where did that come from? I just, I just felt the spirit of Connor Maynard <laughs> come out. <laughs> Davina. I've been humming and ahhing. Danny or Donny. I'm going Donny Wahlberg. Donny Wahlberg. Come on. Rob Brydon. I'm torn. The voice isn't sounding like Tom Grennan. The clues are yep. sounding yes. like Tom. Okay. I'm going to go with Jamie Cullum. Jamie Cullum. Yeah. Okay. Jonathan Ross. It's Elton John. Right <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if any of you are right. Yeah. Let's see who's behind the mask. Take it off. Take it off. Take it off. I want an album. I want an album oh. this year. If we've learned anything, <laughs> it's yeah. time to dump those losers <laughs> and go <laughs> in alone. Uh, uh, <laughs> those guys have been holding <laughs> you, holding <laughs> you back. They've been holding me back all this time. Oh. 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 There was a question that confused me, and I think maybe I was close yeah. to getting away. One of the clues, it was about popcorn, and I said, yes. well, yeah. it's either somebody who's been in the movies or written a song for a movie, and I think you wrote a song for a movie, didn't you? Yes, it's Friday night. Was the end credits to Night, Night in the, the Museum? Yeah. Yep. Ah. Yes. What was the What was wow. the kissing booth clue? Smash hits awards most kissable male. There yes. we go. <laughs> of course he is. What about the kidding? The kid stuff is because you do the voice. The voice care. kids. Voice yeah, kids. the head yeah. turner. Oh. The head yeah. Oh. yeah, there was the a turning turn. heads clue. The voice kids. At one point, we thought you were Michael Bolton because yeah. the clues. That's me, because you're from yes, Bolton. Yes, you're from Bolton. Oh, yes. Yes. That all makes oh. sense. Have you um, have you enjoyed yourself? I've had the most amazing time. Oh, like you. I can escape behind here, you know what I mean? As Piranha and just sing these songs, and I've learnt so much. I'm able to sing higher now, wow. just from yeah. this show. I've got up a whole tone. That's it's incredible. Amazing. <laughs> I am so happy. Thank you for making me the champion. Oh, honestly, Thank it's you. been a dream. It's just been so wonderful having you. Give it up for your winner, Danny Jones, everyone. Yeah!
over. Well, they think it's all over. It is now. The case of the Mars Singer 2024 is officially closed. You're really hard to hug. A Sorry, huge man. thank you to all of our celebrities, the panel, and of course, you at home for watching. We hope you've had as much fun as we have. But now, with the final performance of the series Unmasked at last, it's your winner. It's Danny Jones. <laughs> When you touch me like this And you hold me like that I just have to admit That it's all coming back to me When I touch you like this And you hold me like that It was gone with the wind But it's all coming back Let's go! It's all coming back